police department surveillance of Muslim terrorists was working and it was crippled by Bill de Blasio in a New York City lawsuit by subversive organizations. And I'm going to use the word, a loaded word. The New York Civil Liberties Union has long been a subversive organization, in my opinion. They joined together with Muslim front groups and they stopped the NYPD from surveying questionable mosques and questionable Muslims. And they found someone by the name of Raza who sued the city of New York uh, under a handshoe decree in the Special Services Division of the New York Police Department. And this case of Raza versus the city of New York and Hanshu versus Special Services Division was brought in June of 2013 by the New York Civil Liberties Union, a subversive group if there ever was one, the American Civil Liberties Union, a very radical, dangerous, subversive organization, the Creating Law Enforcement Accountability and Responsible Project of Main Street Legal Services at CUNY School of Law, and the law firm Morrison and Forster LLP, they said they did it on behalf of religious and community leaders, mosques, and a charitable organization who said that they were swept up in the NYPD's drag net surveillance of Muslims. This fallacious lawsuit, in my opinion, charged that the NYPD violated the U.S. and New York State constitutions by singling out and stigmatizing entire communities of New Yorkers based on their religion. And what happened was these verminous lawyers these worms, these bedbugs, fought the NYPD and eliminated this surveillance program. Not only do they eliminate the NYPD surveillance of radical mosques and questionable Muslims, but these bedbugs with law degrees actually installed a civilian representative within the NYPD to make sure that they never ever again looked at any Muslims. Now I'm reading the reality to you. This is why this happened. This is why this happened because this mentality then spread like a cancer across the country where police departments were afraid to say a word about Muslims even those who they knew were under surveillance by the FBI. Because the vermin, the bedbugs in the ACLU, the NCLU, NYCLU, prohibited such investigations. They, in other words, crippled the New York Police Department and, and didn't permit them to do their job. They got rid of the undercovers. They got rid of the uh, uh, confidential informants. They got a ri a rid of open-ended in in investigations. They installed a civilian representative within the police department to oversee the police and report any violations to the police commissioner. Now, here's the worst part of it. You're not going to believe what I'm about to tell you to show you how fascistic the ACLU is and why they must be eliminated under Donald Trump's uh, presidency. I'm going to go into that at another time. There's too much for me to handle in one day. The ACLU and the New York Civil Liberties Union have long undermined America's security in the name of security. And they installed a civilian representative inside the PD, as I told you. And then they have to report to a certain liberal judge anytime anyone looks at a Muslim the wrong way. But here's the worst part. Are you ready for this? There was a radicalization in the West report. It is 80 pages in length. You can't find it. It's gone. It's called Radicalization in the West, the Homegrown Threat, copyright 2007, the New York City Police Department, all rights reserved. It is the finest intelligence report I have ever read in my entire career. It's brilliant. It's all about terrorism, how to stop it. Now, why would the ACLU and the New York Civil Liberties Union want to purge this report from the NYPD uh, roster? Why did they re remove it? Did you know they did? They forced the NYPD website to remove this report, Radicalization in the West, saying it justified discriminatory surveillance. And they said the NYPD must never ever circulate this report again. And so my friends, Arthur Eisenberg was the NYCLU legal director. They have names. 
I've told you that there are people who are doing this to us. This is not done in a vacuum. This does not occur by itself. This occurs from the bed bugs with law degrees. In my opinion, Arthur Eisenberg needs to be put on a watch list. He at the time was the New York Civil Liberties Union legal director. Arthur Eisenberg, allegedly of Jewish descent, bends over backwards to eliminate surveillance of Muslims who might throw him down a well? Why? Liberalism is a mental disorder, that's why. It's a suicidal death cult. Arthur Eisenberg, along with Hina Shamsi, the ACLU National Security Project Director, in my opinion, another mole planted into the ACLU in order to protect terrorists, in my opinion. The end result is the same, whether she was planted as a mole or not, doesn't matter. Just as Barry Obama being president, whether he is a mole of the Muslim Brotherhood or not, doesn't matter. He couldn't do more damage to America's national security if he was a mole. Because then people might actually say something. All of the drug addicts in America, all of the cattle walking around who don't know what's going on around them. So, my friends, Arthur Eisenberg was the New York City NYCLU legal director. Listen to what Arthur Eisenberg said after he got this incredible program eliminated and put the rest of the nation at risk. Here's Arthur Eisenberg. He said, this settlement is a win for all New Yorkers. It will curtail practices that wrongly stigmatize individuals simply on the basis of their religion, race, or ethnicity. At the same time, said Mr. Eisenberg, the NYPD's investigative practices will be rendered more effective by focusing on criminal behavior. See? So Arthur Eisenberg knows more about police work than the bravest policeman in the city of New York. Arthur Eisenberg who probably jumps and has to take a pill when a car backfires is now directing what the New York Police Department can and cannot do with regard to protecting New Yorkers from terrorism and that cancer has spread throughout America. Now where is this report that I'm referring to? You can't find it. They made the NYPD remove it from their website. You cannot find it. If you search for uh, Muslim surveillance by NYPD you will find nothing but left-wing statements, whether it's the Huffington Post, the Washington Post, the New Yorker, commentary on how great it was to remove this program from New York, but you can't find the report itself. I have it. I have one of the only extant copies left in the world, and I will never give it up to anyone. Never. Except to you, the audience of the Savage Nation. I will give it up to the audience of the Savage Nation, and you can do with it what you want. It is the blueprint that is necessary to save us from the next and future Muslim fanatics and their attacks on innocent Americans. This goes for gays, straights, whatever, it doesn't matter who. And what's ironic about this, this was in, in the gay club attack, shifting to that for a moment, it was Latin night, it's called Latin flavors, did you know that? This was an attack by Muslims on the Hispanic community, did you know that element of it? You notice why that's not being played up? because it's two minority groups that are now at odds with each other. But Hillary doesn't want you to know that. Because once you would figure that out, you'd understand that they really have no friends outside of their own world. That is the terrorists. They see the world through one lens only. And that is, they are right, they are pure, they are good, everyone else is garbage. Kill them or convert them. And I'm talking about the radicals. Certainly we're not talking about a billion Muslims in the world. Now before I take a break at this juncture, 